We meet again. We do. Yes, it's been 24 hours, pretty much down to the minute. If you didn't see the show yesterday, we've asked some students from Humber College from their interior decorating program to design Santa's workshop for us back here in our green room because as of Friday, we kick off our favorite things. And so we need a little workshop to get them all together and then be able to give them away. So this is Susan Topping, who is the professor. So Susan, when you walked in here yesterday, what did you think when you saw the space? Did you think, no way in 24 hours? <laughs> Well, it was quite a challenge when we entered into it. Uh, there was quite a few things that were lying around that uh, we needed to work with. And uh, so we had this space and we didn't have much time to work on it. Right. And we had to pull this concept together and give you a good result. And so the overall, was there a theme to the, uh, other than Santa's workshop, but do, w did you have an idea for the concept? Yes, we did indeed. Uh, we took the more classical uh, approach and we took it from Santa, from the letters appearing from the children and they flow into Santa. Santa sorts out who's naughty and nice and then processes it into the toys and into the presents under the tree. Amazing. Okay, thanks Susan. Let's talk to Melissa. How are you? Good, how are you? You guys, are you pooped? Very tired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's been a busy 24 hours. It has. So tell me what area was, was yours? Um, so this is the winter wonderland area and this is the existing gingerbread house that was in the space. So in order to incorporate that, um, we tiered the trees in varying heights just so the scale of the trees is more proportionate to the gingerbread house. See, these are the things <laughs> that people who are pros think of. Never would have thought of that. Okay, go on. And then um, with the trees, we did a color blocking effect. So that's just a more unique way to dress the trees, and it's kind of a dynamic, oh, that's fun. dynamic impact on the trees that's a little different. I like that a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. So that is Winter Wonderland now. Yes. Alva was doing the workbench. Yes, this little guy here was probably about a four-hour work in progress. <laughs> um, this? For, yeah, for some of us. Yes, this little guy. Uh, just because I guess for some of us, probably the first time doing, building uh, any type of furniture. Right. Uh, we added some details for fun, uh, just, just for a touch of fun, like uh, toys popping out of it, some tools, um, paint cans on the floor, just, just so it looks like I was, had been very busy. Okay, and it totally does. This is great. I love the way everything's like just kind of exploding and popping yeah, exactly. out of the workbench. Uh, bench. All right. Hi, Cara. Hi. Santa's area was your area? Absolutely. Big responsibility. Absolutely. Okay, so it's tell me guys. about this. Well, we uh, took, again, from what Susan said, the letters. The letters yep. are what come to Santa first, and that's what he decides who's going to be naughty and nice and what they get. I love that. It's like they're flowing through his door, or through the wall, like they just pour so it in. So it adds drama to the space, yep. absolutely. It sort of fills it up. No detail was uh, you know, left unturned. I think we've accomplished that Santa was here. Yep. He might have just left the building. Um, we have everything from his boots to his little pet mouse. I, I wouldn't <laughs> even notice the, notice the mouse, but what I did notice before was the picture of Santa, Santa. and Mrs. Claus. Yes. Love. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> it's <laughs> fantastic. I love that he has that. Oh, and the world map. Well, he needs to know where he's going. Of course. He has to. Yeah, you'd think he'd have it down by now, right? Well, GPS. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and GPS. This is amazing. Camilo, thank you to you too. Amazing job. The students from Humber College from the Interior Decorating Program, amazing. Thank you so much, you guys, for giving us your time and all of your talent and energy. It looks fantastic back here. And again, our favorite things giveaway starts this Friday with Dave, and then we will be having it all through next week. We're going to take a